Hi, you're from Chem Agency, a local marketing consultancy firm. We were commissioned by GSK to appraise the Panadol brand against other analgesics available in the market. In this appraisal, we looked at the consumer's attitudes and purchase behaviour towards over-the-counter analgesics, the importance of brands and product knowledge in the consumer's decision-making process when choosing a painkiller. We performed qualitative market research to develop on consumers' insights, after which consumer behaviour models were applied to assess various responses. Let us look at the findings. From the means and chain, we identified Panadol to provide core and abstract attributes as well as functional and psychosocial benefits. An anonymous respondent also mentioned that Panadol having better quality than Boots makes her feel more secure. In the Fishman attitude toward object model, we found that respondents had a better attitude towards ibuprofen than towards Panadol, confirming the two as main competitors to each other. Applying this model revealed that the purchase of painkillers was influenced by recommendations by family, friends, and pharmacists as well as the fact that product packaging and advertising made a significant difference in the consumer's purchase decision. Four Quotient Model helps us to analyze the decision-making process of a consumer based on how they think, feel, and act. The results from both buyers and non-buyer groups indicated similar responses for lack of product knowledge. Now, since Panadol provides psychosocial benefits, we consider painkillers a low-medium involvement and low cognitive category. The decision-making model proposes four stages that categorizes a consumer's purchase of a product, namely the problem recognition, information search and evaluation, purchase process, and lastly, post-purchase behaviors. And unlike the Panadol consumers, non-Panadol buyers did not have strong brand preferences. They evaluated only after purchasing. In the conditioning theory, there are three kinds of conditioning classical, instrumental, and vicarious learning. For classical conditioning, customers lack knowledge and not being exposed to ads, all they could remember was the white pills, packaging, and headaches. And yes, you guessed it right, hangovers. For instrumental conditioning, GSK implemented this by running a campaign in September involving the distribution of merchandising bags as a reward of purchasing Panadol. However, we do note that because it was quite recent, we should probably give it more time to see if the results are positive. Lastly, vicarious learning was mentioned. Pendolol seemed to be a drug that parents used to give to their children since childhood, so even in their adulthood, they would follow the same routine when they got sick. Reference groups are a collection of people who can influence individual opinions. In the case for Pendolol, two reference groups were identified family and medical experts, where pharmacists emerged as opinion leaders. Lastly, exposure, attention and comprehension model was considered irrelevant. As you can see, this process involves merely four stages, exposure, attention, perception, which ultimately leads to comprehension. However, as information from the external environment was not provided, neither intentional nor accidental forms of exposure were introduced for Panadol therefore making this model irrelevant. In conclusion, from the findings and based on the three objectives, we found that firstly, the most important selection criteria was the recommendations by family, followed by pharmacists, followed by advertising, and lastly packaging. Secondly, customers perceived that branded analgesics to be of higher quality as compared to generics, and so we came to a conclusion that brand is in fact important when choosing a painkiller. Lastly, the lack of product knowledge did not seem to affect how consumers chose painkillers and therefore GSK should put less effort in trying to improve consumers product knowledge. With all this information, we would like to recommend for GSK to first, when dealing with pharmacists, the sales representatives can adjust their key selling message to emphasize the product quality which will provide peace of mind, which is important because pharmacists are opinion leaders as discussed previously. These translate to consumers receiving the information to be more credible. And secondly, GSK should continue applying instrumental conditioning by reinforcing the brand Panadol with continuous advertising. 
mainly focusing on the idea of the family drug choice concept while reiterating on their superior packaging. We hope this helps. Thank you.